Hello again, a new episode about Akasome, <laughs> the mighty amplifier. Okay, so what we're gonna do here today, we're gonna make a bias T for this uh, amplifier. So what is a bias T? Just a simple way to provide power through the antenna cable to the feeding line, I may say. In fact, it's a very simple concept. Let's say we have the minor here, you now the output, the minor itself, at the output it have a capacitor so the line it's decoupling in an electrical way of uh, things you know obviously this is the ground and this is the central pin going to the amplifier here we have the amplifier inside here we have also a capacitor okay so this is the let's say output of the amplifier going going to the minor the middle pin of course goes like this and here is of course the ground we have to weld because here is the shield you see because of these capacitors here in and out this line here it's electrically decoupled so it's in the air if we're talking in a direct current way of seeing the things so only the F signals can pass the capacitors on going in and out from the line. So we can apply a voltage here. We got no problem with that. There is no short because here we have an infinite resistance in DC. Now, the problem is we have somehow to decoupling the RF signals also. How we can do that? Very simple. We apply here a coil, a few micro Henry, it's enough. And also, we're going to have a capacitor to the ground, right here. The other way, here, we come with a second coil, and here we have 12 volts, of course. And after the coil, another capacitor. If we look at the electronic schematic, it will be something like this. The first capacitor, the line, once again, coil, capacitor to the ground, and here plus voltage and of course minus to the ground that's the input let's call it and here through a coil also capacitor to the ground same story capacitor to the ground and here we have a clean plus voltage and of course minus from the ground and the shield also will be at the ground if we take the second scenario let's say we have the antenna up here somewhere on the roof and we want the amplifier near the antenna and we have like 10 meters lmr 400 okay so it's a mess to have another 10 meters of wires supplying the amplifier so we can use lrm to supply the voltage okay of course we have the coil inside there and the capacitor and everything this goes to the ground the shield and obviously here it's the minor input capacitor coil and plus voltage and not only this because we don't want to get, make any kind of mood in a minor we can come in this point with a bias t coil capacitor and of course plus 12 let's say in my case so let's do that okay so this goes to antenna we need to apply plus 12 volts here to the minor and the first step of course is to check if we have a capacitor output so we should have infinite resistance output it's in the air of course ground and middle pin there we are people nothing absolutely okay so we can apply that without any problem now let me find some connectors a piece of board soldering iron flux spectacles so it's looking like we need to make some room here output wires so first i have the white one connected to the ground i can even 
solder it here it's ground of course and then I will have that here in the middle because need here to have the coil that should be our plus let's make the coil that should be more than enough and the coil is done we'll have that from 12 volts here or the voltage I'm sorry the plus the voltage like that okay and the other one goes right there to the pin doesn't really matter I'll put it to the pin because it's easier for the length yeah and we still have a single step to run a piece of wire from here to there to reconnect to reconnect the the airfe the radio frequency pads and if you like you can even have a capacitor but I'll make this as simple as possible this is for having back the RF continuity or path okay middle pin like that and the other one here behind under doesn't really matter let's make this shorter well, th this is always a tricky stuff to do you got one in place the other, the other one is running away but not this time yes so we got a coil we got the earth pad back in place and there is a single step to do we need to run a capacitor from here it can be from 10 nano to 100 nano and this is good about k weights because we have a capacitor meter here too this is a 3.3 nano 31 nano for us perfect and we can just pass that near the RF connection it's even better brings another shield perfect so here we go good people now we have a functional bias T to check with the continuity meter if we have any shorts this is the ground and that's the plus there we are very good middle pin to middle pin perfect and also middle pin should go out to plus let's check plus to ground we are good and the plus should go to the middle pin of course through the coil and next step let's do what we have to do inside the amplifier let's open this guy up here we don't even need an extra capacitor because it's plenty of capacitors all we have to do is to connect this middle pin here to the plus and we are done beautiful isn't that okay first let me check about the capacitor oh yes we are very good here so we need a coil from here to the plus you see we don't need another capacitor because we already have this one connected to the input let me check that ground of course and 12 volts here all we need is a coil same story let's improvise a coil let's make it soldable <laughs> solderable is that a word let's make it solderable yes right perfect here and this one needs to be connected to the pin very good yes we are good to go let's have a check now we should see the middle pin going to 12 volts yes right well people it's done we can give a try 
there's the one here the bias T ready to go power supply don't forget about the right polarity it's very important and we should see the the red LED running and of course we have the red LED up <laughs> beautiful isn't that now I know that my uh, RDS radio is capable of uh, running an amplifier so let's call it it's a bias T ready but I'm not sure I think it's only 5 volts but 5 volts it will be enough to run this amplifier I told you before the inside voltage is 5 volts so so it will be okay we need an adapter yeah so what we have done I just put a coil okay let me show you very simple uh, paint so from here I put a coil to this point here we don't need an extra capacitor because we already have this one from 12 volts to the ground very easy okay let's see about um, my radio yes look there we have a red <laughs> we have a red light and let me check how many volts do we have here 3.3 oh it's kind of low but I think it's working let's see so the bias is working nice I just uh, wanted to show you that is possible let me have an antenna yeah okay gain please of course these are LoRa signals you can see them on the screen and yes it's working but like I said before plus 3.3 volts it's low let's turn that off and it's gone let's turn that on and it's on yeah very clear well we have a working bias T for this uh, Akasom amplifier and uh, you see it's not so hard to be done and uh, well I hope it's useful please uh, like subscribe and uh, have fun <laughs> see you soon bye bye